Have a blessed morning, and welcome back brothers and sisters in Christ, to the Holy Rosary Today channel. Let us pause for a moment of reflection and spiritual contemplation, as we engage in today's Catholic morning prayers. Join us in seeking divine guidance and blessings, to commence our day. If you love what we are doing, please support us by subscribing, liking and sharing, and hit the notification bell, so you can stay updated whenever we have new videos. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Heavenly Father, I come before you with reverence and gratitude. I invite your Holy Spirit to dwell within me, guiding my thoughts, words, and actions throughout the day ahead. Grant me the humility to recognize the depth of your love and the magnitude of your grace. Shaping my understanding of who I am and the purpose you have ordained for my life. In the midst of life's challenges and uncertainties, I find solace in the knowledge that you are ever-present, lighting my path with your unwavering wisdom and compassion. With each revelation, I am drawn closer to the essence of your eternal truth, finding peace in the assurance of your sovereign plan. As I journey through the complexities of this world, I pray for the enlightenment of all who seek to know you more deeply. May your Spirit move mightily among us, awakening hearts to the beauty of your unfailing love, and the richness of your grace. Empower us to embrace the challenges that lie ahead, with courage and faith. Knowing that you are our ever-present source of strength and guidance. Lord, grant me the perseverance to endure hardships with grace and resilience. Knowing that through your goodness, I can overcome even the greatest obstacles. May your presence be a beacon of hope in the darkness. Leading me ever closer to the abundant life, you have promised to those who place their trust in you. With hearts overflowing with gratitude and praise, we offer this prayer. Surrendering ourselves fully to your divine will. May every moment of this day, be a testament to your boundless love and unfailing faithfulness. In your holy name, we pray, Amen. O oh God, in the tapestry of divine providence, you orchestrated the meeting of the Blessed Virgin Mary and her cousin Elizabeth, weaving together threads of kinship and divine purpose. As Virgin Mary, carrying your Son within her, journeyed to share in Elizabeth's joy, your presence infused every step of their encounter with sacred significance. Grant us, O oh Lord, the grace to discern your will and the courage to act upon it. Just as the Virgin Mary did, when she heeded the promptings of your Spirit. May our hearts be attuned to the whispers of your guidance. Leading us to moments of encounter, and connection where your light shines brightly. In the companionship of the Holy Spirit, may we magnify your greatness. Not only in moments of clarity, but also in the midst of uncertainty and doubt. Strengthen our faith, O God, that we may emulate the trust and obedience of the Holy Mother, who surrendered herself entirely to your divine plan. As we journey through the seasons of our lives, may the example of Virgin Mary inspire us to embrace the opportunities for service and love that you place before us. Like her, may we be instruments of your peace, channels of your grace and bearers of your love to all whom we encounter. In communion with blessed Mary and all the saints, may our lives become a symphony of praise, glorifying your holy name now and for all eternity. 
through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever, Amen. The Holy Gospel of Jesus Christ, according to St. John, chapter 19 verses 25 to 34. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold, your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold, your mother and from that hour the disciple took her into his home. After this, aware that everything was now finished, in order that the scripture might be fulfilled, Jesus said, I thirst. There was a vessel filled with common wine. So they put a sponge soaked in wine on a sprig of hyssop, and put it up to his mouth. When Jesus had taken the wine, he said, It is finished. And bowing his head, he handed over the Spirit. Now since it was preparation day, in order that the bodies might not remain on the cross on the Sabbath. For the Sabbath day of that week was a solemn one. The Jews asked Pilate, that their legs be broken and they be taken down. So the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first, and then of the other one who was crucified with Jesus. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. But one soldier thrust his lance into his side, and immediately blood and water flowed out. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, Amen. The Angelus Prayer The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary. And she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, Amen. Behold, the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me, according to thy word. Hail Mary full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth we beseech Thee, O Lord. Thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ Thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by His passion and cross, be brought to the glory of His resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord, Amen. Holy Spirit, Make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God every day. Dear Holy Spirit, as I begin this day, I ask for your guidance and inspiration in all that I do. Help me to discern your will for my life and to follow it with faith and courage. Give me wisdom to make good choices and strength to face the challenges of the day. 
fill me with your love, joy, and peace. And help me to share these gifts with those around me. Use me as an instrument of your grace and mercy in the world. Please protect me from all that is evil. And help me to resist temptation and to pursue all that is good. Above all, help me to love and serve you with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength. May my life be a reflection of your goodness and grace to all those around me. Amen. Daily Offering to the Immaculate Heart of Mary O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and suffering of this day. In union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass, throughout the world, I offer them for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart. The salvation of souls. Reparation for sins. The reunion of all Christians. I offer them for the intentions of our bishops and of all apostles of prayer. And in particular, for those recommended by our Holy Father this month. Prayer of Surrender to Jesus Heavenly Father, I completely surrender all my life to you. I adore you, for you are mighty and all-powerful. Worthy of all my praise. As I kneel and worship to you, Lord. Sometimes I am so overwhelmed by what is going on around me that I am lost for words. By the working power of the Holy Spirit, I know that all I need to do is call on the beautiful, sweet-sounding name of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you for that privilege. Take Lord and receive all my liberty. My memory my understanding, and my entire will, all I have and call my own. You have given all to me. To you, Lord, I return it. Everything is yours. Do with it what you will. Give me only your love and your grace. That is enough for me, amen. Consecration Prayer to the Blessed Virgin Mary O Mary, Virgin Most Powerful and Mother of Mercy. Queen of Heaven and Refuge of Sinners, we consecrate ourselves to Thine Immaculate Heart. We consecrate to Thee, our very being and our whole life. All that we have, all that we love, all that we are. To Thee we give our bodies, our hearts and our souls. To Thee we give our homes, our families, our country. We desire that all that is in us, and around us, may belong to Thee, and may share in the benefits of Thy motherly benediction, and that this act of consecration may be truly efficacious and lasting. We renew this day at Thy feet the promises of our baptism and our first Holy Communion. We pledge ourselves to profess courageously, and at all times, the truths of our holy faith and to live as befits Catholics, who are duly submissive to all the directions of the Pope and the bishops in communion with him. We pledge ourselves to keep the commandments of God and His Church, in particular, to keep holy the Lord's Day. We likewise pledge ourselves to make the consoling practices of the Christian religion. And above all, Holy Communion, an integral part of our lives. In so far as we shall be able so to do. Finally, we promise Thee, O glorious Mother of God and loving Mother of men, to devote ourselves wholeheartedly to the service of Thy blessed cult, in order to hasten and assure 
through the sovereignty of thine immaculate heart. The coming of the kingdom, of the sacred heart of thine adorable Son. In our own hearts and in those of all men. In our country and in all the world, as in heaven. So on earth, Amen. Act of Faith O my God, I firmly believe that you are one God, in three divine persons. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I believe that your divine Son, became man and died for our sins. And that he will come, to judge the living and the dead. I believe these, and all the truths which the Holy Catholic Church teaches. Because you have revealed them, who are eternal truth and wisdom. Who can neither deceive nor be deceived. In this faith, I intend to live and die, Amen. Act of Hope O Lord God, I hope by your grace, for the pardon of all my sins. And after life here to gain eternal happiness, because you have promised it. Who are infinitely powerful, faithful, kind, and merciful. In this hope, I intend to live and die, Amen. O Lord God, I love you above all things. With my whole heart and soul, because you are all good and worthy of all my love. I love my neighbor as myself for the love of you. I forgive all who have injured me, and I ask pardon of all whom I have injured, Amen. St. Michael the Archangel Prayer O glorious Prince St. Michael! Chief and Commander of the Heavenly Hosts! Guardian of Souls, Vanquisher of Rebel Spirits! Servant in the House of the Divine King, and our Admirable Conductor! You who shine with excellence and superhuman virtue, deliver us from all evil! Who turn to you with confidence! And enable us by your gracious protection! to serve God more and more faithfully every day. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls, Amen. Morning Offering to St. Joseph Receive me, dear and chosen Father, and the offering of every movement of my body and soul, which I desire to present through thee, to my blessed Lord. Purify all. Make all a perfect holocaust. May every pulsation of my heart be a spiritual communion. Every look and thought an act of love. Every action a sweet sacrifice. Every word an arrow of divine love. Every step an advance toward Jesus. Every visit to our Lord, as pleasing to God as the errands of angels. Every thought of thee, dear saint, an act to remind thee that I am thy child. Accept each little devotion of the day though replete with imperfection, and offer it to Jesus, whose mercy will overlook all, since he regards not so much the gift as the love of the giver, Amen. Morning Offering of St. Therese of Lisieux This morning, I dedicate all my actions to you, my God, with the intention of bringing glory to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. I long to consecrate every heartbeat, every thought, and even the simplest tasks, by connecting them to his boundless merits. I also seek to make amends for my sins, by offering them to the furnace of his merciful love. Furthermore, 
I implore from you, my God. The grace to carry out your holy will perfectly. Both for myself, and for those dear to me. I am willing to embrace the joys and sorrows, of this transient life out of love for you. So that, in the end, we may all be reunited in the eternal bliss of heaven, Amen. Prayers for Divine Provision Heavenly Father, I approach your throne with a heart full of gratitude. Acknowledging the countless blessings, you've showered upon my life. Today, I come before you seeking your divine provision, in the various aspects of my journey. You who know the depths of my heart, and the intricacies of my needs. I place my trust in your unwavering goodness. Guide me through the pathways of life, providing for me in ways that go beyond my understanding. Grant me the foresight to recognize your blessings, and the humility to receive them with gratitude. As I navigate the challenges of this world, grant me the resilience to face adversity, and the wisdom to learn from every experience. May your provision extend not only to my material needs, but also to the strength of my spirit, the clarity of my mind, and the well-being of my soul. Instill in me a spirit of generosity, that I may share the abundance you provide with those in need. Open my eyes to opportunities, where I can be a source of comfort and support to others, reflecting your love in tangible ways. In moments of uncertainty, envelop me in the assurance of your presence. May I find solace in the knowledge, that you are my constant companion. Guiding me through the twists and turns of life. Let your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard my heart and mind. Teach me to be a faithful steward, of the resources you entrust to me. Recognizing that, all I have ultimately belongs to you. May I use these resources wisely, and in accordance with your will. Contributing to the well-being, of those around me. I express my heartfelt gratitude, for your unconditional love. And the promise of provision found in your word. I surrender my anxieties and concerns to you, confident that you are the source of all that is good. In your infinite grace, I find comfort. And in your boundless love, I place my trust, Amen. Morning Prayer for Repentance and Salvation Loving Father, examine my heart and reveal my sins to me. Grant me the awareness to recognize them, and the strength to repent. Father, purify me from both the sins I know, and those hidden from me. Help me eliminate them entirely, preventing their recurrence. Heavenly Father, empower me to overcome the intentional, and unintentional wrongs in my life. Grant me victory, over these shortcomings. Lord, I understand that the thoughts in my heart, impact the words from my mouth. Therefore, I implore you to cleanse my heart, ensuring that my words come from a pure and pleasing place. Lord, I am grateful that you seal, sanctify, and empower me. You are my guide, my teacher, and you pray through me. Help me to join forces with you as I use your word to pray for the salvation of my family, friends, and co-workers. Make me attuned to your promptings, and teach me how to collaborate with you, in praying your word over those who are seeking you. May my prayers be aligned with your will, and may they be a source of hope and transformation, for those who need your salvation. Mighty Lord, you are my provider, protector, and refuge. Only you can forgive my sins, and renew our everlasting relationship, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you so much for joining us, 
in today's morning prayer before you start your day. If you enjoyed what we are doing, I invite you to share it with the people that matter to you. I also invite you to pray today's Holy Rosary. We'll add the link in the description below. Once again, thank you very much friends for praying together, and I hope your day is fantastic, and filled with the grace and peace of the Lord. I look forward to praying with you again in the next prayer. Until then, God bless you, and may you find joy in Jesus.